What's going on guys? It's been a while, hasn't it? So I'm going to do another Razer review and we're going to get started because it's something that I haven't done yet. It's a different brand. People like to call me a Gillette fanboy and this will decide whether I am or just being biased by the name or it's actually just better. And the brand that I'm bringing you to you today is Schick. And I got the Hydro 5. I went with disposable because of the obvious that it's going to be a little more expensive for the cartridges. And if I don't like it, I didn't spend as much. But we're going to find out. So, I'm going to also open this with a new knife that my girlfriend got me for Valentine's Day. This thing is awesome and I'm really not sure of the uh, brand of it. I can't remember. that She did tell me at one point. But she got it offline and got this nice engraving on it. And I use it every day now um it's my daily carry out of the three knives that i use so anyway let's just open this feels nice all right all right so let's get a look good look at this thing real quick this is the schick hydro 5 that is definitely upside down the schick hydro 5 so we're going to get lathered up and see how this goes. And as usual, this is about four days in with um, my hair growth. It's like pretty decent stubble. It's a little past the sandpaper stage and that's when it's a little softer to be able to get through the hair and not cut myself. So we'll see if that actually happens or not because it's not Gillette. The ironic part, I'm using Gillette shaving cream or shaving gel a little ironic and contradicting still backs up the statement that i think i'm a fanboy of gillette all right now that we are all lathered up here you know the deal we're going to test out the for the first time the schick hydro 5 i'm typically a three blade person but that's what a review is for right so i apologize for leaving the water on some of you might be screaming through the screen at me about leaving it on. Sorry. It's like white noise, I kind of need it. First stroke was a little bit of a struggle. but wholly smooth so far, so far. If you've listened to me say this before, the front and top of the head is never the test for me, ever. Always the back and sides. And if anyone else here shaves their head, they might or might not experience the same problem as me. I'm much more sensitive in the back and the sides of the head. Not really sure why. Feels a little pulley back here. Hopefully that doesn't stay like that for the whole shave. So I will not exactly be happy about it. Yeah, I definitely can't go as fast as I would like to. Especially with a razor I'm not used to yet.
You got these odd spots that are like past the hairline that want to grow peach fuzz. So I always get them too. Alright, time to go to the back. Wish me luck. Not the worst thing ever. All right. So I'm gonna get this all rinsed off. Those are the parts that people don't exactly wanna watch. Not that I feel like doing it, I wish I could just be like, and be done. I should have probably th thrown an effect there to just skip to when it was. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Gotta check for uh, extra spots and then I will be back for my first impressions of the Schick Hydra 5. All right, guys, back for my first impression of the Schick Hydro 5 Razor Disposable. Um, it feels incredibly, incredibly smooth, but it's not like I got there with ease. It felt like it was kind of a fight. Um, typically, I get these little dry spots on the back of my scalp, and um, it'll, you know, do that when I'm, um, I'm shaving or whatever, and it'll kind of feel like it's kind of ripping the skin. Um, but I usually wait for them to go away and I can take a nice shower and, you know, a couple days will go by and they go away and today they were gone and um, it still feels like they were there with how the shave was and I could feel stinging all over my head. Um, again, nonetheless, a incredibly smooth shave, but not without a fight. So anyway... I'm gonna lather up here while I talk with uh, Aloe Vista. This stuff is actually pretty darn good. I got this from um, a hospital, because I work in a hospital, so anyway. This stuff is pretty good for um, a moisturizer. So anyway, while I talk, I only put a little bit on here, by the way. This is probably gonna turn into a lot, but I, um, I do like the way that my head feels, but I'm not exactly happy with the outcome of how my head is stinging a little bit. Not that I have never had that with Gillette. I'm not just saying that because it's not Gillette. I've had it with Gillette, but usually I can figure out why, because I've either done it too soon, or I slipped the razor, or I didn't moisturize my head enough prior to that, as far as, you know, getting it soaking wet and nice and warm, you know, like with, with hot water and exfoliating the skin with like the um the shaving gel or whatever this time i most definitely did and it felt like it wasn't it didn't feel like it was the smoothness as a gillette would especially when it's fresh out of pack it actually feels like this was already kind of pre-used prior to me shaving today so that's my impression on that um I'm still going to go with Gillette, but doesn't mean that it's not for your head. I just have a very sensitive scalp. So we've already known that. So I will use the rest of these razors just because I'm not gonna waste the money. Uh, and maybe the other, enough, another time it will feel a little better. Maybe my head has to get used to that because the, the blades are gonna be different than a typical Gillette, but Gillette obviously has the number one, you know, marketing source for a reason, so. I think I'm gonna go with Gillette. But wait, there's more. 
A little bonus feature that I just found. There is this little flipper here. It flips out to make for good precision and this does kind of need to get, you know, cleaned up a bit. I haven't shaped up my goatee in about a week or two, so actually, no, not that long, but it's definitely been a little bit and it's overdue. So let's give that a whirl real quick. Won't be as long as the rest of it, but gotta try it. All right, so I'm a little weird when I do my goatee. I actually will do this dry first, a little around there, just a little bit of a space so that I can actually see past any shaving cream prior to me putting it on. So I'm gonna do that first with this little trimming device. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of my face lathered up real quick. Be right back. All right, we're gonna put this back. There we go. We're gonna get started. Now, for some reason, this feels way smoother on the face, and that's typically not the case with me. Usually my face is very sensitive. Let me get this rinsed off and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for my final impression of the Schick Hydro 5. So it did a good job with the trim, but then again, I'm precise. But <laughs> I jinxed myself. Kind of rough on the neck. So overall impression, that gives me one, one impression, uh, two, I think it's a little, it's a little rough on the skin. Um, if you have sensitive skin, I don't think that's exactly the razor for you. It will get you where you want to be as far as smooth as that is for sure. But again, like I said, it's not going to go without a fight. And at least for me, it was not without a fight. And I know my hair growth. I've been doing this for five years and this is the deciding factor. I'm not a chic, uh, a chic fan. Not saying I'm not going to review more. I'm actually, there's, Plenty at the store I just saw, I'm going to review down the pipeline because I'm curious to know if there are other ones, but it seems like Schick is probably one of the top competitors of Gillette and they do not own up to it as far as I go for sure. So anyway, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and even the bell if you want to see every time that I make these review videos and go check out my other videos as far as vlogs. I actually also started up a podcast, it's called um, Nightmare Fuel Podcast with my friend Alexa. Me and her threw this together, and now we are starting to make some more episodes. Um, we have one already posted, and this is brand new. So if you are into uh, paranormal things, true crime, and talking about beer or wine of those sort, you know, head on over there. I can leave a description, uh, a link in the description below. So anyway, if you like this video, like I said, share it. Look at my Instagram to see if when the next time it's going to be up, okay? So until next, uh, next time, I will see you then. Thanks for watching.